All right, I'm going to show you how to connect your sensors. So we have two of the flush mount or low profile sensors, and we have two of the ones that fit on the top of your TV. Now these two can be replaced with another two of these. It's not necessary, but some people prefer just to have these or they're using arcade cabinets, and we recommend you get four of those. All right, so first we're going to start with our power. Okay, this is going to be our power plug. Now I've only kept the cables wrapped up so that it's a little bit more manageable. We're going to plug in one of the USB-C and we're going to plug it into the other USB-C just like that. All right, they're in. Now we're going to take our USB-C to USB-C cables and we're going to connect them right beside it. There's another port. I'm going to connect them together. This is easier when you're at home and not filming. There we go. And then that is going to get connected to our little sensor on the bottom. Now don't forget, the arrows point to the screen. So if they're on the top, they point down. If they're on the bottom, they point up. Okay, and then we're going to take our other USB-C to USB-C cable. This one here. We're going to do the exact same thing. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to run. Now, don't forget, this USB cable is connected to these two black sensors. That's going to go into the power, and then that will power all four of these sensors. We have on off switches for the top ones, but we don't have on off switches for the bottom ones. They'll either have to be unplugged or the whole system can be unplugged. Okay, I'm going to show you how this top sensor gets mounted because this is the more complicated one, even though it's pretty simple to do. So what it's gonna come in the box just sitting like this. We're gonna extend these little feet, hook the lip onto the TV, just like that. And then we're gonna adjust the feet and tighten them up. And then it'll sit like this. Now there's gonna be cables coming out of here, okay? Like I showed you in how to connect these cables. Some people have found that angling the sensor down a little bit has made it a little bit more accurate for them. So there'll be one on this top corner and one on the other top corner of the TV. Please make sure you're putting the sensors on the corners of the TV. To attach the bottom sensors, you're gonna use the nano tape. Now some people, they will want the sensors placed like this and others will want the sensor placed like this on their TV. Both are fine. This distance, can be up to a few inches, that's gonna be just fine. If you have a projector, you can place it on the edge of your screen, you can place it down a little bit from your screen, that's gonna be fine as well. So you're gonna take the nano tape, stick it on the back or stick it on the top, wherever you'd like, and then you're gonna stick it to the TV. Now some people, they wanna remove these, so they've been using Velcro. They'll put a little piece of Velcro here, a little piece of Velcro here, and then stick it on, and when they're done playing, they'll put it away. Like I said before, we have a mounting bracket so you would screw this, if this was an arcade cabinet and you wanted to mount it to your arcade cabinet, you'd screw this onto the arcade cabinet. Screws are not provided. You can just use little screws, it's not heavy. And then you can slide this in once it's all mounted and ready to go. And it'll just sit in like that.